everyone, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and I am outside a property I almost bought. I actually um, made an offer on it, and that offer was actually kind of accepted. Um, and then I decided not to buy it. I'll tell you why, and now it's under contract again. So as you can see, this is an old hotel, and it actually sold a few years ago for like 275,000, something crazy. I think it has 16 units. It's been used as a residential property, multifamily property, and um, it was for sale for, I think it was 895, 850,000 late last year. And so I saw the property. I've, I've had my eye on this property for a while. I actually own three other properties on this kind of road a little bit to the left there, farther west, we're in Greeley, Colorado. And I looked at the property, could see in a couple of units. Uh, most of them were just completely gutted. And with 16 units, um, there's a lot of potential there. You could probably rent, you know, um, that place on the right there could, you know, a couple bedrooms, the rest would be studios probably. And there's a house way the, over there too. It's like a three or four bedroom house. You could bring in a lot of rent. You could probably bring in um, $15,000 in rent total, um, which would make this a couple million dollar property. But why wouldn't I buy it? I'll talk about that. Um, of course, we like the comments, shares, new subscribers, all that, so keep that coming. Um, I have bought some crazy properties like this before, and so um, it's not that I'm new to this. It's kind of like the complex, which was a seven unit property. Part of it was an old hotel in horrible shape. That's where we did the tire eviction, and so it'd be right up my alley. But the complex, the Ocho, some other properties I've bought, um, maybe they've made me just slightly gun shy this last year because of all the drama we've had. And I feel like this property right here would bring more drama than anything else I've ever bought. <laughs> and there's a few reasons for that. So first off, um, I, I saw it, I saw the potential. Um, I knew it needed a ton of work, just a ton of cash on top of the purchase price, but um, I thought it'd be worth it. So I offered him 675,000 for the property. And like I said, it was listed for like 850, something like that. And they just flat out said, nope, don't even want to counter, don't want to consider it, nothing. So I thought, okay, that's fine, not a big deal to me. And um, a couple months passed, and it was still for sale for 850. And they actually called me up, or and said, or called my assistant up and said, hey, um, we'll accept that $675,000 offer now. And this was a couple months later. I had bought a couple of more deals since then, and we'd had a lot more drama with the Ocho since then too, with squatters, evictions, all that stuff. And I thought to myself. And I think Nikki, my project manager, thought more of this. I don't want the headaches that this property would bring me. And there's a couple of major flaws with it too. So um, some of the, the pros of it is it has lots of units. So, um, you know, could bring in lots of income. It has a couple of bigger units, you know, that would be fairly easy to rent. And it's got a couple acres with it too that you might be able to use for outside storage. They've got a big fence around it on the back. They used it for outside storage before. And you could rent it to people who want to store RVs, campers, trailers, things like that. Maybe, right? The zoning doesn't quite say you can just do it without approval, but they're doing it before. A lot of people do that. So you might be able to get away with it. You might not. Um, so there's that extra income there too, which could really make it worthwhile. But the big issues are obviously it needs a ton of work. The, the units are gutted, all new windows, plumbing, wiring, heating, all of that would have to be redone. All the roofs are junk. Um, the house is pretty much gutted, no kitchens, no baths. So it would take a huge amount of money. And the real deal killer for me, I know a lot of stuff was a deal killer for Nikki, um, was there really, really tiny units. Like it's a tiny hotel room and it'd be hard to set it up with anything more than a studio, maybe a one bedroom. But if you make them one bedrooms, then you're cutting it down to, you know, seven units or maybe eight units because you're really splitting it up and that decreases your cash flow the less units you have and then you're really getting the you're having the cheapest rentals in the area with those small studio units absolute cheapest which means you might be more attracting more drama like the ocho which isn't even the cheapest in the area but um by far but has you know usually the cheaper you go the more drama you attract and, and that that tends to come the more turnover more maintenance and so you'd have those issues. So definitely my plan would have been to just buy it, fix it up, maybe rent it, sell it. But in the end, I decided not worth it to me. Too big of a project, too much money. 
and so much more could go wrong, so much drama. I know a lot of people would have liked that drama on my channel, but there's only so much I can take. Honestly, it hasn't been that bad, but um, this one I think would have been a, a crazy property. I just saw it went under contract, so I thought, hey, this would be a pretty cool video and, and talk about some of the deals I don't do and why I don't do them. Um, someone had asked that on the channel. So here's an example of that, and then yeah, maybe we'll drive around, get a little closer look at the property too. should say too, after I said I didn't want the property, they lowered the price to $675 and it went under contract at that price. You can see the big fence here. So I don't know if it's under contract at $675 or a different price. Won't know that until it sells. But um, that's the property. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad I'm not messing with that sucker, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, love the likes, love the comments, love the shares. We'll show you a lot more videos of properties I have bought and have been working on. And of course, you guys have seen the drama that have come with some of those. And um, we'll always have new properties we're buying. We have the liquor store, the businesses, all that stuff too. We love to update you on as well. As well. So if you haven't subscribed, now's a great time to do it. All right, take care. Be back soon.